Hey there weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving and we are on the last towel in the Strickler 8 uh, series that is this warp. As a reminder, this is a white 8-2 warp that I wound. It's eight yards long and I am weaving different uh, sample drafts out of the Strickler 8 shaft pattern book and the previous videos that I've done, um, you can see this one is the last one. Uh, so I've been weaving one per day and we are on the last one. I was hoping to get eight uh, towels or eight samples out of the warp, but um, it looks like I'm probably going to get seven. So this is uh, Irish Poplin. It is uh, Strickler number 13. And these drafts are uh, based on a light warp with a dark weft, most of them. Um, a couple of them had uh, light on light, but for the most part, they are a light warp with a dark weft. So for this one, I'm using purple. And you can see I've got my hem allowance in here and uh, I put my divider in between the two towels, uh, the two different drafts. And I'm assuming that these are going to be towels, but they may end up being sewn into something different. I haven't decided yet. Um, and you'll notice that I've done a little something different with my bobbin here. Um, I had just this little uh, bit of um, yarn left on my bobbin and rather than wind it off onto a bobbin and then put it in my shuttle, it fits in my shuttle. It drags on the bottom, it isn't long enough, um, but I cut a couple little spacers here and it'll pull out just fine and roll. So. We're gonna go with it. Um, I'm feeling lazy tonight, so there you go. So this is a very simple treadling. It's uh, one through eight over and over, and I have not modified any of the um, tie up or the color to um, change it. So we'll just go ahead and start weaving. As with the previous ones, I'm going to kind of go a little bit gentle on the beading until I know what my um, set is going to work up like. And I did not check my treadling on this, so I should probably do that while I'm doing these first few. So four is one, four, seven, and eight. One, four, seven, and eight. That's correct. Uh, five is um, two, three, seven, and eight. So I've got that correct. Six is one, two, three, Six. One, two, three, six. Correct. So normally I would run through my treadles and make sure I had tied them up correctly, but um, I didn't in this instance. And I see that I probably have a problem because I cannot push that treadle down. So I'm thinking what I did is I tied um, an upper and a lower lamb together. Uh, so I'll have to go under and see what's going on there. Okay, so I'm back and sure enough, I had tied uh, treadle three, or I'm sorry, I had tied shaft three uh, to the treadle on both the upper and the lower lamb. So they were trying to go in opposite directions and it couldn't. So now seven works. Alright, 
So that is 10 picks. So I should have a half an inch if we are going for 10 picks per or 20 picks per inch. Um, I'm a little over a half an inch. Um, so I think that's pretty good though. All right, so there is an inch and we're doing pretty good. I'm still a little bit over, but um, I think it's working out well. So you can see um, the pattern appearing. So we have a definite uh, twill going across this way, as a lot of twills, twills do. Um, but you'll notice that there are some longer and shorter pieces in the twills and um, if you follow you know, the different lines, uh, you can see this little tick here uh, continues in that twill diagonal, that 45. So um, that is what the Irish poplin is. And then I'm thinking that once it's wet finished, it will kind of shrink up and be a lot more pronounced. So we'll just continue weaving on and um, see how it looks. So as you can see, um, as with most twills, um, if I were to reverse my treadling, um, I could uh, make the diagonals go back the other way and we could zigzag back and forth in different um, ratios. Also, if I had uh, threaded this so that um, I was going one through eight, um, for let's say uh, a couple inches and then I was to switch to eight through one uh, for a couple inches and then back I would create diagonals this way um, and by changing the threading and the treadling directions I could make diamonds in here It'd be very cool looking. Uh, so, I mean, that's just one little draft that um, you can see how different you can set everything up and make different uh, patterns appear. And I have to say my little hack is working really well. Um, I may not, this is all the dark purple that I have. So this towel may end up being graduations of purple because I have, I have a couple different purples and um, some pinks. So we may end up having a purple graduated towel. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and advance our dryer sheet. So I'm just double checking this because one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So I seem to be running into an issue where I have four floats and I just want to make sure I'm supposed to have four floats there. So I'm going to 
Go back to my book. And this is number 13, Irish Poplin. So seven, aha, see, I'm right. Um, so on this, when I put it into my weaving software, evidently I missed one of the um, tie-ups. So there should be a tie up right here on uh, shaft or on treadle seven. Shaft one should be tied up to rise also. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and change it. Uh, it's going to change the look of this, but um, that's that's okay. So let's go down and tie that up and then we will see what it looks like, how it's supposed to look. All right, so now we should have um, three floats over, or a maximum of three floats. Some of these have two floats, some have three floats, but we should not have four floats now. Um, so we'll go ahead and see, I ended on eight, correct? Yes, okay. So we won't notice a change until I get to shaft seven. So, or treadle seven. There's two, three, and eight. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, so you'll see right here. Let's see if you can see that. Right here, this thread, that is on shaft seven. And it is extending over four threads. This is how it should look right here, where it's only extending over three threads. So it will be interesting once I get a little bit ways into it, um, how much you'll be able to see. This one looks funny also. All right, I need to double check all these. Okay, treadle two is incorrect. Um, so if I had tied up, which normally I, I tie up from um, the book, the printed pattern, but on this one, I tied up from my draft that I had put in my weaving software. And that's where I messed up. So I will go down again and uh, change treadle two. So it should be tied up to shaft five instead of shaft four. Okay, I think we have it now. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and advance our war. Now we can get back to 
believe you. So I can see right here, this last set, my mind wandered, and I can see that I did not weave that correctly. Um, what clued me in was the fact that at the end of my treadling, I was on, um, I treadled number 10 instead of number eight. So we'll just back off here. Okay, so now I need to find another color to finish this up. And I think it's gonna be a two thirds, one third thing. So let's see what I have that would go with purple. So I'm gonna get my color wheel out here. Let's see, if I say, this purple. So yellow is a complement. Um, the green and the orange is a complement. Um, I don't really. Hmm. That kind of does go um, with it. If I look at key color, complement is kind of a yellow green. Let's see what I have. Hmm, that's definitely yellow green. I'm kind of leaning towards, 
I'm kind of leaning towards the pumpkin. Um, I mean, I could use either one, but I kind of think that the pumpkin uh, goes really well with it. So I think that's what I will use. Um, if I wanted to do the red brown is a little more toned down. Uh, I think I like the pumpkin better. All right, so, okay. So let's go ahead and um, I'll finish weaving off this little bit and then I'll have to wind some more on. And by the way, this worked really, really well. Um, so if you have any little bobbins hanging around that uh, need to be used up, that works really well. Okay, so that is the uh, last pick of the hem. I'll throw a few more picks since I have some left on the bobbin to uh, protect the weft basically. And um, then we can cut these off the loom. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me weave this towel. This is a really cool um, pattern and I will definitely use it again in the future. If you enjoyed watching the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. 
the last video in this series, I will be cutting the warp off the loom and we will analyze each of the towels individually. Uh, I'll measure them, record that information. We will wet finish them and then we will measure them again and see how they look and compare the before and after pictures. So I hope you stay tuned for that video and thanks for watching and happy weaving.